I had a whole different video plan for today, but uh, someone took my table for their D&D session and didn't return it despite that being the agreement. So here we are. I'm standing. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Justy. I've definitely talked about in previous videos and on other social media platforms that I like comic books. I also have them behind me here. So it's pretty clear that I read and enjoy comic books, but we've never really talked about them on this channel. I've mentioned a few here and there of like different series I've read and like I've talked about some that I would want to become movies, but I've never just discussed comic books. So we're gonna do that today. I am not a huge like comic book lore person. I will very openly admit I have not been reading since like the 80s, the 90s. Like I don't have really, really far back issues. I don't know the depths of every single story. So I'm not gonna pretend I do. What we're gonna talk about today is just some of my favorite comic book series that I have collected and read through the years and maybe what I like about them, who knows? I don't, I'm not gonna get like super in depth. I could do that in like a different video, go like in depth to the individual series each if we like these comic book videos. But for now, we're just gonna go through what I enjoy. Very basic video concept for today, but I'm pretty excited about it. Let's talk about comics. So first thing we're gonna actually do is get rid of these that are in front so I can pull them out as we go. You guys have, Oh my God, never seen them just standing by themselves. Oh, I killed the bear. And here they are. Well, at least one side of them. We'll do one side at a time. Everything is so tightly packed in here that I'm really nervous. As soon as I take them out, I won't be able to get them back in, but uh, we're risking it all today, boys. First up, we have bombshells. Now, I do have a whole bunch of the singles. I just didn't want to pull every single one out. So for ease, I'm pulling out the trade. I do have the entire series of this one and I love, love, love the Bombshell series. I talk about this all the time and I've cosplayed a bunch of them so I feel like this one should have been like an easy one to realize. I think it's super fun. I'm not a huge war person and I don't love a lot of war content. It's why Captain America isn't actually my favorite film even though I love Captain America. Um, but I think it's really well done in this. I love seeing the powerful women. I love seeing their designs. I had a really good time reading every single issue of this one. So I'm a definitely a big Bombshells fan. I know they came out with like a second line, which I have in here. And I'm just blanking on the name right now. Uh, I didn't like that one as much. I don't think I actually have all of it. This one is definitely my favorite. Next, we have Journey Into Mystery, the Kid Loki story. I just pulled out one of the random titles from it. I know this is not like, I don't think the beginning or the end really, but anyways. <laughs> I was obsessed with this Journey Into Mystery. I had to make sure I had every single um, issue. I couldn't miss anything, so I have a bunch of the individual issues and I have like almost every trade as well, just to be doubly sure. I love this Kid Loki. I thought it was so fun that that's the Kid Loki we also saw in the Loki show. Very into it. I gobbled this storyline up. I thought it was so good. It also is what convinced me to get like other Journey Into Mystery comics, which while none that I enjoyed quite as much as this one, I did like those as well. So it really opened up a kind of a new like pathway of comic books for me, I guess we'll call it. I don't know. I honestly, if it's got Loki on it or like in the description, if I know Loki's gonna appear, I probably own it. Now, this is one that I exclusively have in trade. The first few had already been released to trade, so I bought those, so I just kept waiting for them to come out. And this is the Harley Quinn New 52 line. I know a lot of people had very iffy reviews about this and a lot of other New 52 comic books. I really liked this. I thought they were fun. I enjoyed Harley's looks in them. I know it's not the traditional jester look and while I do prefer that over others, I thought she looked really great. It was awesome. There wasn't a lot of Joker to deal with in this, which makes me very happy. The less I have to read or watch or hear anything about the Joker, the happier I am. So this was really, really good and really jump-started my Harley comic book buying at the time. I just love this one so much, I had to have more and more and more and more and more and more. So she is, I guess, the blueprint for all the Harley Quinn comics I own. <laughs> I took out a couple of these to show because they're all together. Harley's Little Black Book was so fun. Again, I don't think I unfortunately got every single issue, 
which is a shame, but oh my God, they were so cute. I love seeing her interact with other DC characters, even if um, I'm not a big DC person and I don't particularly care about every single character. It was fun to see their interactions with Harley. The art was super fun. I have a couple variants of this first cover because it was just so great and I adored these. I'm sad if I don't have all of them, which I'm pretty sure I don't, I'm a little sad I don't. Hmm. I know it's not like Marvel or DC or anything, but man, did I love the Mad Max comic books. I also have a few singles of this as well. I don't know, I just was so obsessed with Mad Max when this uh, Fury Road came out that I I wanted more. I wanted a million different Mad Max things. So when I saw those comic books, I bought them right up. I really enjoyed reading them. I wouldn't put them at like the number one, two or three, like the tippy top spots, my favorite comic books, but I really enjoyed it. And I do go back and reread it a bunch of times. So that means it's pretty good. I think the art is very interesting. It's not my favorite, favorite style of comic art, but it's also not my least favorite obviously as I enjoy it. But yeah, they're really good. It's like a weird random little thing I have in my Marvel collection. I mean, are we surprised there's more Loki? I love the Agent of Asgard series. This is so good. This is one that I was so determined to keep up with. I have it all in singles and I even have some singles repeated because I just wasn't totally sure if I'd bought the single. So I bought it again and that's how serious I was about reading every single one as it came out. Sometimes when you have a million comic books, you start to forget what one you have, okay? Yeah, it was so good. I mean, I, am I a little bit biased because I want to read everything Loki? Maybe. But it's good! I recommend it. I had a lot of fun. He's got a lot of really great looks in it. Look, look, look at that. You tell me you don't want to read about this, this teen? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm so into it. I love Agent of Asgard. So good. Up there with like Journey into Mystery and Young Avengers. Chef's Kiss. Oh, that's the first half. Let's move into our second half of comic books. I have a few Deadpool comics. They're fine. They're not always my favorite. Some of them are funny, but one of my absolute favorite line of Deadpool comics is this team up with Spider-Man. There's a few different trades I've got of this one. He is so funny when he's interacting with Spider-Man. And I think it makes this, at least this specific Spider-Man, I haven't read every single um, Spider-Man comic book, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I think it makes this one a lot more interesting. I just love their dynamic. I think it's hilarious. It was just super fun to read. I laughed the whole time. I powered through these ones like nobody business, just gobbled them up because they were so good. So I definitely recommend this team up series. Very, very funny. Very good if you like both Deadpool and Spider-Man, which like, who doesn't? But it gives you a bit more of a, a tone, not fully toned down Deadpool for sure, but like more than some of his other comic books if they're a bit much for you, so. Fun, very good. Volt Loki is hilarious. Even if you are not like a huge Loki fan, oh my God, these are so funny. Him running as a politician with the platform, everybody lies to you and at least I'll be honest about the fact that I lied to you and everyone being like, yeah, that checks. Peak comedy. Also gave us the ability to have President Loki in the Loki series, which Oh my God, did Tom Hiddleston look good as President Loki? So we should all thank the blueprints for that. And honestly, they're just really funny comic books. Not a super long run. Like you can, I think there's like, I don't know, like like max 10, but under that. Um, so I super recommend it. It's fun, it's hilarious, and it's Loki. I'm into it. <laughs> I've talked about it. I'll never stop talking about it. The Young Avengers comic book line, oh my god this is all i want in a marvel movie now give us young avengers give us stupid kid loki um give us the new hawkeye like give it give us everyone on this cover right now give it to us it's so good it's so fun i have reread it a million times i i think it's honestly like my favorite comic book series from marvel because i have to put it on par with like my harley quinn's because i love her but it is, oh, it is so good. I'll never, ever, ever let go or stop talking about Young Avengers. So y'all are just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> so that's all my favorites. And I thought as a balance, I'd give you a couple of my least favorites. The first one is an absolute, it's a hate. I actually got rid of it and it's the only comic book line I ever got rid of because it just was taking up space and I hated it so much. Um, it was the Marvel Zombies comic book story. I had a couple of the trade books, so it's all the stories obviously in one. And I just, it was so boring. <laughs> How do you make zombies boring? I don't know, 
but I definitely do not regret getting rid of it. I will never finish that series. I hope the what if episode that they're planning to do with zombies is like a little bit better than the comic, but we'll see, but yeah. Garbage. Didn't like it. Marvel 1602 was recommended to me and I gave it a try and I really wanted to like it. Like the idea behind it is really cool. I do like Neil Gaiman and I was really, really trying to get into it, um, but I just couldn't. It took me forever to make it through this comic book. I found it so boring and dry. I have not seeked anything out. I couldn't even tell you if there's any more or if this is the only trade. I don't know because I just couldn't bring myself to care. I'm sorry to everyone who's really into 1602 again, like a bunch of people recommended it, but I just, there, there wasn't enough. It was, it was boring. I'm sorry. Thor, the God Butcher, which is also a representation of a few other Thor comic books that I have. Um, I buy Thor ones hoping to find Loki in them, I'm not gonna lie. And I find at least some of these really old ones, some of the newer ones, especially with um, our female Thor and then past that, some of the newer ones have been interesting. But some of the older Thor stuff, I find him really, really boring on his own. I'm sorry, I know a lot of people are probably not gonna like that, but I just, I don't know if it's the language used in it or the adventures he goes on, I'm just not into them. So for some of the older stuff, if Loki is not in it, I don't particularly care. But yeah, so I did not enjoy this one. There's a couple other Thor standalones that I have that I did not enjoy, and I kind of stopped buying them unless I'm totally certain Loki is in them. <laughs> there we go. Those are some of my absolute favorite comic books and some of my not so favorite comic books. Obviously, that is not an exhaustive list. There is a lot more going on back here, and I also have a pile over there on a shelf you can't see of comics that still need to be read and it's getting a little big. Let me know what you thought about the ones that I like and dislike. Do you agree with some of my opinions? Do you disagree? Do you have a comic book that you absolutely despise that is not on this list? Go ahead and let me know. And as well, tell me if you'd like to see a bit more comic book content on this channel. It won't overtake everything else for sure, but obviously comic books are quite a big part of my life and they get mentioned in other things, so I figure, why not get their own videos, you know? What, what, why not? What's stopping me? Nothing, clearly, as I made this video. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.